Hello and welcome back to On The Workbench. Today we're talking about something here that I think is very important I've seen screwed up in so many videos online. First, this is a torque wrench. You've seen these before. We use these to build a properly uh, to properly torque a fastener to a given specification. Number two, this is a crow's foot wrench. Allows you to get access to all sorts of peculiar places. Works kind of like a socket and kind of like a wrench together. They made it and had an offspring, it'd be a crow's foot wrench. This is a 3 8 inch drive crow's foot. This is a 3 quarter inch uh, opening. And we can take this crow's foot wrench and attach it to our torque wrench. And so now we can use this to be able to torque bolts to a torque specification that an, an, uh, a typical socket would not be able to do. So let's look at this configuration and let's see what's wrong with doing it like this. We roll this back like this, you can see it up on its end, and this is 100% incorrect. So normally a socket would be right here, and then from here back to the center of the grip is 16 inches, which is one and a quarter feet. And so if we're trying to hit a target bolt specification of 20 foot-pounds with a normal socket on here, you would be applying 16 pounds of force here. So 16 pounds of force here times the length of 1.25 feet gives us 20 foot-pounds. But here's where the problem happens. Right here with, this, with the crow's foot wrench, from the center of the head to the center of the fastener, this adds an extra one and a quarter inches onto the length. So if we were to leave, the, if we were to leave our crow's foot positioned like this, when we think we're putting 20 foot-pounds of torque on it, because of this increased length, we're going to be ended up putting 23 foot-pounds of torque onto our fastener and over-tighten it against specifications. So, how do we fix this? The important distance is from here to here, so all we have to do is turn our crow's foot wrench, just like that 90 degrees, and now from the center of our fastener, the center line here, times the distance is going to be our same 16 inches and we will be just fine with our torque spec, and we'll get whatever we have our wrench set to. And just for my example here, I was talking 20 foot-pounds. So all we have to do is turn this 90 degrees. It's a simple case of statics uh, for those of you that have taken engineering classes. And so I hope you guys found this useful if you're using a crow's foot wrench and a torque wrench. And please, don't screw this up. Just turn it 90 degrees, and you'll have the torque you're looking for. Hope you found this tip useful, and have a great day. Bye.